The digital divide is a term used to describe the gap between those who have access to modern technologies and those who do not. This gap can be seen in terms of access to computers, smartphones, high-speed internet, and other digital technologies. The digital divide is a complex issue that affects both individuals and society as a whole. In this study, we will discuss the digital divide in detail, including its causes, effects, and possible solutions. Causes of the digital divide The digital divide has several causes, including socioeconomic status, geographic location, and age. People who live in low-income areas, rural areas, or areas with limited technological infrastructure may not have access to modern technologies. Similarly, older individuals may not have grown up with digital technologies and may be less likely to adopt them. Additionally, education and digital literacy are key factors in determining whether or not someone has access to digital technologies. People who have not had access to quality education may not have the skills and knowledge necessary to use modern technologies. Effects of the digital divide The digital divide can have a number of negative effects on individuals and society. People who do not have access to digital technologies may be at a disadvantage when it comes to finding and applying for jobs, accessing healthcare, and connecting with others. Additionally, they may not have access to important information, such as news and educational resources. This can limit their ability to learn and grow, and may contribute to feelings of isolation and disconnection. Society as a whole can also be negatively impacted by the digital divide. When large segments of the population do not have access to modern technologies, they are less likely to participate in the digital economy. This can limit economic growth and innovation, and may perpetuate existing inequalities. Possible Solutions to the Digital Divide There are several possible solutions to the digital divide, including government policies, private sector initiatives, and community-led efforts. One approach is to provide subsidies or other incentives for companies to expand technological infrastructure into underserved areas. Governments can also invest in education and digital literacy programs, to ensure that people have the skills and knowledge necessary to use modern technologies. Private sector initiatives, such as providing low-cost devices and internet access, can also help bridge the gap. Community-led efforts can also be effective in addressing the digital divide. Local organizations can work to provide training and support for individuals who lack access to digital technologies. They can also help to create public spaces, such as libraries and community centers, where people can access the internet and other digital resources. Conclusion The digital divide is a complex issue that affects individuals and society as a whole. It is caused by a variety of factors, including socioeconomic status, geographic location, and age. The effects of the digital divide can be negative, limiting people's ability to find jobs, access healthcare, and connect with others. Possible solutions include government policies, private sector initiatives, and community-led efforts. By working together, we can help to bridge the digital divide and ensure that everyone has access to the modern technologies that are so essential to our lives and our economy. Thanks for watching.